Good evening, folks. On this 28th of June, we are looking to the Old Testament for something to think about. It's in the book of Exodus. We've visited Exodus just uh, in recent days. Exodus 7 and verse 12 uh, is that situation where um, there was a confrontation between Moses and Aaron and the, uh, the court of Pharaoh. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Let's see how Spurgeon applies this, that we have, might have something to think about tonight. This, this incident is an instructive emblem of the sure victory of the divine handiwork over all opposition. Whenever a divine principle is cast into the heart, though the devil may fashion a counterfeit and produce swarms of opponents, as sure as ever God is in the work, it will swallow up all its foes. If God's grace takes possession of a man, the world's magicians may throw down all their rods, and every rod may be as cunning and poisonous as a serpent. But Aaron's rod will swallow up their rods. The sweet attractions of the cross will woo and win the man's heart, but he who lived only for this deceitful earth will now have an eye for the upper spheres and a wing to mount into celestial heights. When grace has won the day, the worldling seeks the world to come. The same fact is to be observed in the life of the believer. What multitudes of foes has our faith had to meet? Our old sins. The devil threw them down before us and they turned to serpents. What hosts of them? Ah, but the cross of Jesus destroys them all. Faith in Christ makes short work of all our sins. Then the devil has launched forth another host of serpents in the form of worldly trials, temptations, unbelief. But faith in Jesus is more than a match for them and overcomes them all. The same absorbing principle shines in the faithful service of God. What an enthusiastic love for Jesus' difficulties are surmounted. Sacrifices become pleasures. Sufferings are honours. But if religion is thus a consuming passion in the heart, then it follows that there are many persons who profess religion, but have it not. For what they have will not bear this test. Examine yourself, my reader, on this point. Aaron's rod proved its heaven-given power. Is your religion doing so? If Christ be anything, he must be everything. Or rest not to love and faith in Jesus be the master passions of your soul. I pray we would take uh, and heed that wise counsel when we think about our own religiosity. Uh, not, not particularly denominations here who uh, Spurgeon is talking about. He's talking about but the way we act in a religious manner. And, and is that uh, our religiosity the thing that consumes us? Or is it our faith again in Christ? So I pray that we would ponder upon that this evening and that it might do us good. Particularly do our souls good. Until the next time, God bless. Please do take care. Bye for now.